Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. I don't know if you can notice, but I do have my original camera back. Well, my previous camera was my original one, but this is my normal camera and I'm so excited to have it back. My lens was broken on it, it wasn't open, and I sent it over to get fixed and it's finally back. I think it's been about two months without it, so I'm really happy to have my camera back. I'm excited to post this video today because this is my Panette palette update. I forget which number this is, but I've been working on my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette and I'm getting pretty sick of it. It's not that the palette's bad, and honestly, I'm getting pretty bored of it. I ran out of most light shades, so I do have to pull in lighter shades because I like to use a light shade on my lid and then darken in the crease. So I have to pull in light shades from other palettes, so it's mostly dark in here now. There's a couple lighter shades, but I'm just getting a little bit burnt out on it. But there's only a few months left of the year, and I want to pan as much as I can from this palette by the end of the year, but I'm not necessarily going to finish it. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get into the palette itself. I'm going to insert a picture of what this looked like in my previous update. And here's what my palette currently looks like. So there's some minor changes, not a whole lot. There's definitely been months where I've had more pan. I did meet all of my goals this month, which is exciting. My first goal was to finish the shade in Firework, which I did. This was a beautiful coppery red shade, and I liked it on my outer corner. It was pretty all over the lid, and I did have a pressed glitter that I would like to pair with it. It was a beautiful shade, but I am happy to be finished with it because those shades are super warm on my eyes, which is really pretty, but I just don't love it for every day and for work but I'm glad that one's done. Another goal I had was to expand the pan on Meeks, and I definitely did that, and I actually hit side pan right here, which is really exciting. I do like this shade. If I pair it with warm tone mattes, it makes the look look warmer, but if I pair it with cool tones, it does go very cool toned as well. I do like this shade. It is a little bit deep on me sometimes, but I can make it work. And then what I'm really excited about is that I hit pan on the shade Hillster, which didn't have any pan last month, and I didn't really have a goal to hit pan on it. I just wanted to get some more use out of it, and I did hit some baby pan right there, not a whole lot. And then I also just wanted to expand the pan on Pukey, and I think I have a lot. I actually really like this shade. And then in the shade Butter, I've expanded the pan as well. Not a whole lot on this one, but it's pretty tightly packed, and I have made some progress on it. I also have some dips in other colors. I'm not entirely sure what the name of this one is, but this is like a mac and cheese color. And I have a pretty decent dip. I like to mix this shade with butter and I think it creates a really nice warm toned look. I am almost hitting pan on this brown shade right here. I also forget what this one is. I wish her palette was labeled, at least even on the back, that would be helpful. But mine didn't come with that sheet which had the names on it. I usually just look at my computer because I have a picture of it. But anyway, this one is like so close to hitting pan. I think the next time I use it, especially if it's with a liner brush, I think I will definitely be able to hit pan on it. So let's set a goal to hit pan on this shade in the next month. I would also like to use up half of what's left in Meeks. And I think I want to try to make some progress on Hustle as well. And I did swatch out the shades. This dark brown right here, which is the one I forgot the name of, this one is actually called Central Park. And I swatched out Meeks, which is the bronzy shade, and then Hustle, which is this purpley taupe color. And I'm nervous to make more progress on Hustle, which is that taupe color, because this shade just does not look great on my eyes. It is way too cool toned, and I feel like it doesn't have as much shimmer as the other shades. But I would like to try to finish it by the end of the year, or at least try to finish as much as I can. But anyway, that is my short and sweet update for my Pan That Palette 2019, and I will have a playlist linked down below. I did pan another palette this year, and I do have some panning tips if you want to check them out as well. I think I'm doing okay with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I am definitely slowing down. I was a lot better in the beginning, but I am just feeling Pan That Palette burnout right now, which definitely happens if you are panning a palette, and I'm excited for next year because I do have a palette in mind that I think I can finish pretty quickly, but for now, I'm just going to keep trucking through my Jaclyn Hill palette. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a horse channel if you want to check it out. It is called CNK Equestrian. and I'll have it linked down below. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.